Well, good morning. Um, we're at day 27 of Abundant August, so we're rounding the bend toward home. And today we're going to talk about peace. So Gabriel, um, let's talk about this interface between abundance and peace. What are your thoughts? So I think the opposite of peace, war or conflict, whatever it could be, is something that often can come from the idea of scarcity. There's not enough for us. We need more. You know, we don't have enough land. We don't have enough resources. We need more. The other ones are unjust to us, whatever it could be. And so all kinds of narratives are formed that actually bring us into this mindset of conflict, of, of not being enough, of others not being enough, of the world not being enough. And, mm. you know, I come from Germany. We had so many wars over the last couple of centuries here in, 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 this, in this place. You know, everybody thought, I, I need more land. I need more land. People are fighting for land. And, and now we have less land than we used to have before. But we are much more abundant than we have ever been. And mm. because we understood how to kind of connect things together and that abundance comes from connection, from working together. So the value we create in interaction with other countries, with other people together, that's where we get all, all, all the riches from. It's not from having more land, but it's from having better interactions, from being more innovative, from being more creative and from being really connected within the system of the world economy it's mm. not by going our own way and by separating and by becoming stronger but it's by integrating more that we become stronger and that's something i observe from just watching european history and whatever where i am you know the opening i could see the opening of europe here kind of becoming open i i, I witnessed it with my own eyes uh, in my lifetime and so i could see the abundance growing in around me here where i was born and so that's super super huge and also I've seen the opposite in other countries where I've been to countries which are like enemies to each other. You could see the kind of ideas they have in their minds about the other, the other country and about how dangerous they are, how, how they want to threaten their livelihood. And interesting thing is it, it exists in both countries usually. And mm. it's the same we had here before, like Germany and France, whatever country you, you could pick, you know? Uh, so but it's it's our I think it's our opportunity and our our chance um, to change this um, mm. in our lives. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's it's um it's like an answer when you think about what where do how do we get to a place of peace among peoples? I I really appreciate that food for thought. And food for implementation. Wouldn't it be awesome if, uh, if, if it influenced people to that? So what's your call to action? So I would say peace starts in our own hearts. I think that's the only place where we can start. Um, so wherever you have some grudge uh, against someone or you think, oh, they have much more than I do have, they take everything away from me or whatever it could be, like just... I just invite you to stay on the path of abundance, to open yourself and to re to rethink your thoughts about other people and see mm -hmm. where you could create synergies instead of of conflict with other mm -hmm. people. Wow. Well, thank you for that. Definitely food for thought today. Um, so to our audience, thank you for listening. Like, share, comment. We love to read and, and respond to those. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.